Hey guys, welcome to complete web application step by step tutorial. I am Ripon Dutta. This is module 11. Uh, in this module, basically, I am going to show you how to make your application for mobile. I mean, mobile compatible, which is basically responsive. So, let's get started. Alright, um, before going to mobile responsive development, uh, I want to discuss something about the previous tutorial which is basically email setting so go to the email setting uh, in the email setting there is a property which is password so as I am using SMTP Gmail in this case I have to create an app password so then you can use it so it will be basically your app password not your gmail account password so how to create your app password so go to the gmail account then go to account then go to security then you might notice there is a app password settings okay so I need to create an app so in my case this is I want to give a name which is online shopping store this is just a name then it will you have to click generate it will give you 16 digit I mean 16 character password this is your app password so copy this password done okay so we are done in the app password then go to your application and paste the password in, in the password property uh, I want to inform one thing that I am just using my app password so do not use this app password directly in your application so in your case you have to create your own app password because after some time I will disable or I will revoke this password okay so don't use my password I just shown you how to create your own your own app password so you don't have to worry you just you can just follow this instruction and you can create your own password okay then everything is okay as it is before now I want to change one more thing this is this checkout action is basically HTTP post and we have another action which is checkout which is basically you know HTTP get so if we don't mention any uh, any attribute or any verb in the in an action then it will be automatically HTTP get okay so it will return what it will return view shipping details I mean so in this case we have to take this parameter and it will be the shipping details okay now let's run the application control f5 oops what is the error oh I see basically this is you know this is our first um, what uh, get request so we don't have any object right now we will create the object later so 
it will be basically the shipping details so we have to pass an empty object to the view okay now let's run control f5 and let's see okay it's taking a little bit time all right so add the item okay continue shopping let's say one more item this one okay now check out here you go so the checkout I'm just filling some demo data this is not an actually a real data so I'm just adding some demo data then complete the order so before completing the order I want to show you my email account that there is no email okay close the security account so there is an email because I just create an app password that's why this is basically you know online shopping store created this is basically an application password okay so uh, I didn't get any email yet now go to our application so I put everything in the value complete order thanks so now go to the yes as you can see I just got the message so this is my what order so this is you know one t-shirt price 34 oops there is basically a formatting problem one handle shirt price I mean subtotal this one and total value so what I need to do is basically I have to go to the email order processor then this is basically from here these are lines so value you one mm -hmm, subtotal then there is a bracket this is closed and a new line okay now let's run the application again control f5 and let's see okay so first add t-shirt then continue shopping go to the omen let's say this one white gold wow 5400 okay and add another one which is this one brooks omen three items now check out in the checkout now basically you can add the address i mean email address for the client so you can send the email to the client but in this demo purpose I just add I mean I just added the what email in the source code directly but in your case you can take your email address I mean your customer email address so you can put another text box for getting email address for the customer okay so as you can see I don't have any order here now place the order complete order thanks then go to the what happened yes new order submitted yes this is now looks nice one t-shirt 
one white gold one brooks total value and you can format it as you want okay I just give you an idea so you can format it I mean in your using you know custom format okay so now let's go to our main part of this tutorial which is basically a responsive design for the mobile application so I want to show something that if you can see this is already responsive because I used Twitter bootstrap that's why this is responsive so as you can see all this all the values are arranged according to the face size so if this is your mobile size so you can see this is your mobile okay uh, in this case you can add I mean you can add a symbol little symbol instead of checkout text so it will be you know a small size now it is a big size but if you wish you can add it okay hmm what else uh, basically in this case I want to show you one thing uh, not in details which is I can break down this online shopping store into three word three separate word okay whenever it will be in a smaller size then it will be break down into three a smaller piece so let's try it okay so I have to go to the layout view okay so I wanna add basically a span in the span I want to add this is our online shopping store I want to add a class which is basically hidden oops, hidden uh, access that means whenever the page size is access uh, I want to show one thing in our Twitter bootstrap you might notice I used already several times hidden large mid uh, print a small access there are several size it can be in a column size you know so this is basically your page size so whenever your page size is access on that time it will hide this span okay so on that time what we need to do is we can add another span or we can add division Oops. div class which is basically visible visible what access so whenever the page size is access on the time it will be visible so on the time I want to add online another div for shopping a store so if you don't understand what is hidden access visible access you have to look at, at the internet or you have to google it so this is basically access is basically one of the page size now I'm going to show you so run the application then you will see whenever the page size is you know this is our large size so whenever the page size is going to this is the medium and this is now going to be access as you can see now page size is now access so whenever your page size is access then I told them uh, hidden I mean on the time hidden access that means this span is going to be hidden 
and this division and this one and this one that means these three divisions are going to be visible whenever the face size is excess so i hope this little technique will help you to enhance your twitter bootstrap so you can add anything it's a handy tool so you can learn about it i mean you can learn the twitter bootstrap so you can easily design i mean easily you can design responsive design for mobile or any platform okay all right okay so in this tutorial basically i tried to demonstrate about uh, a little bit how to create your application for mobile i mean responsive design and i discussed about the previous tutorial about the mail setting or how to create your app password for gmail smtp so in the next tutorial i'm going to demonstrate how to make your admin panel which in who is a i mean you can manage your products so keep watching and if you like this tutorial don't forget to subscribe this channel and you can share this video and if you have any comment or any feedback you can write in the comment box so i would like to have your feedback please write your feedback whatever you have it can be your difficulty or you can send me a message or if it is helpful for you just write that in the comment box thank you so much See you soon in the next tutorial. Till then, bye.